One of the chants heard from protesters is being called disgusting by rank and file St. Paul police officers. Police Federation leaders say the threatening refrain is divisive and dangerous and won't lead to improved police relations. As Bill Hudson explains, March organizers say they're not about to apologize. By most accounts, it was a peaceful march down Snelling Avenue, though intended to disrupt leisure to deliver a message of justice. We weren't surprised that it was peaceful, but we were glad that everything worked out right. But along the way, protesters broke into a pointed refrain. What some may find offensive is also free speech. What's ironic here is that marchers were being protected by the very officers targeted in the chant. Statements and chants like that are just ignorant. You know, I find it absolutely disgusting. Officer Dave Titus heads the St. Paul Police Federation. He called it dangerous and outrageous rhetoric, especially coming just hours after a Texas deputy was gunned down in cold blood. I don't think chanting uh, or, uh, you know, singing chants that are basically promoting killing police officers is peaceful. March organizer Rashad Turner says there's a big difference between words and actions. It definitely wasn't a threat. You know, I don't know if they would have received it differently if we'd have said maybe on a stick or something like that, but, you know, we're, we're out there chanting. We're using our voices. Rhetoric that doesn't appear to have stopped with a march. All right, that's enough. Out a couple of words or one All right.